property. Leaders at Indiana Tech say they offered him a generous amount of money to buy the land. News Channel 15's Megan Royce joins us live from Washington and Walter, where campus leaders would like to build. So, Megan, explain why he's turning down the school's offer. Mark and Heather, I spoke with his lawyer today, and the lawyer tells me that that's because the school isn't following city ordinances. They'd have to go through the plan commission and apply for rezoning waivers. Richard Chris has owned this piece of land for almost 40 years. Indiana Tech approached him about buying it to build a new residence hall. They offered him more than $20,000 for $300 worth of property. The assessed value based on tax records is where that $300 figure came from. We did offer $25,000 for the property. Once Chris learned the university wouldn't be following city ordinances, his lawyer Thomas Neeser says he turned down the offer. He merely wants to make sure Tech complies with the development standards of the city's zoning ordinance, just like every other developer is required to when new development impacts an adjoining neighbor. Indiana Tech would like to build a 50-foot, three-story dormitory on Chris's property. It would house 95 to 100 students. The problem is the ordinance won't allow buildings higher than 40 feet constructed without approval from the Plan Commission and City Council. According to Chris's lawyer, that concerns him. Mr. Chris has owned this property since 1973. He has done so as a good neighbor and has always done so within full compliance without waivers of the city's zoning ordinance. He merely asked Tech to do the same if it now desires to develop right next door to him. Campus officials say they've already got three-story dormitories on campus. A few are just right across the street from Chris's property. We don't need his property for the project, so it is at this point up to the Planning Commission. So it's not an issue of whether we're able to buy his land or not. It's an issue of what the zoning becomes. Since the university's at full capacity, they say they need to build a new dorm before the start of the fall 2012 semester. If they do turn down the zoning request, yeah, we would look at alternatives um, because we do need to build some sort of housing and you know, we will consider other options. The plan commission will vote on this on the 23rd. If they approve the rezoning, then city council will make the final vote. Reporting live from Walter Street, Megan Royst, News Channel 15.